Hey guys, what's going on? Homer Rex here with Jerem. What's up? We uh taking a look at that new Star Wars Episode Seven trailer. Got a few thoughts on it. Well, just the, just the Force Awakens. Force Awakens. <laughs> that's right. But uh, I guess we'll kick in. I mean, we we uh got the elephant in the room that we've been discussing: the lightsaber, Jeremy. What do you think? All right, let me say this very clearly. I, I don't mind the little too many lightsabers that come off the side. Yeah. To me, that lightsaber does not look like a laser sword. It looks like a sword made of fire. It looks like a long flare. And that's what I don't like about it. It doesn't seem like... I, I, I don't know why they felt he why Abrams felt he needed to really change it. It's not classic. I mean, no, it's, not it's not what not. we're used to. Like I said, the, the little things on the side, that doesn't bother me at all. I can live with those. I kind of like that because I like it. It seems like an older sword. You brought up that it might be, it might be before the lightsabers were actually lasers. It could be ancient. I heard somebody say, and I don't remember who it was, but yeah, they said, well, this could be an ancient man who's wake woken up, and this is just the lightsaber he had at his time. Yeah, but I do like the broad sword look. It makes it more medieval, something we haven't seen yet. But yeah, the flames. I'm, I'm, that's, I'm with you on that. That's yeah. That's not my issue. My issue is just it doesn't really look like a sword comprised of a laser. It looks like it's made of fire. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, we already brought this up a little earlier. They're not calling it Episode Seven. Yeah, I don't get that. I, I, I think I'm trying to wonder: Are they trying to stay away from the prequels by not calling it an episode? Why break the pattern now? I mean, realistically, Empire Strikes Back was Episode Five, so it has been done prior to the prequels oh so i don't get it i mean it's just it's a little pet peeve but i you know say what people want to say about the prequels i like the fact that they were named episode one two three you know it's just kind of a nice with the title behind it it, it made for a logo for the entire three movies kinda. i think the fans and all are still going to call it episode seven and i think i think when the when the scroll comes up it's going to say episode seven too yeah all right, now in the in the trailer we did see some we seen some uh fighters, you know. So some tie fighters and stuff. What do you think about that? Well, my question is is the empire still in charge? Yeah, it kind of makes it feel like the empire's hang lingering around because we saw the stormtroopers. It's true. We also seen the troopers. Uh, updated and we saw tie fighters. So my question is is the empire still in charge and does that in any way kind of take away from what happened in Return of the Jedi? Yeah, there, there's definitely still Empire presence. I mean, because in Return of the Jedi, the Empire died. Your assumption is, well, the Empire has fallen, and it's 30 years after it, so you figure by now. But there could be the mindset, why waste the material? There's there's a ship, might as well use it. Yeah, and you're right. We have no idea if the Empire is controlling the Stormtroopers or even if the Empire is controlling the TIE Fighters. We We don't know, but a teaser trailer we have to speculate in some places we, we got to speculate but since we've already brought up the stormtroopers what do you think about them are they clones are they not clones are they still using I, I, clone I, technology or are they they just disband camino and all that all together i still think that they're clones i don't think they're going to bring up i know what was it, the rebels show brought up that they weren't clones yeah i don't think they're going to go that route i think that they're still going to be clones i don't think you're going to see any of their faces that being said, the design of their suits, I actually love. They did update the suits. Yeah, I think they look better than they ever Which kind of makes me think that they are clones because, you know. Yeah, well, I mean. If they weren't, why would they use the same style of suit? Why, would they just, why wouldn't they just switch all together and the get rid of the past? You know? Then to think about it, the mindset of the clones was to have just an army that was expendable. So why would you actually put real people in there? It's true. Yeah, I mean. Especially with the technology they have, why waste? Yeah, that, I mean, that was the whole purpose of the clones. They were dispensable, you know, and they could be recreated very quickly. That's why they were the army. Too controllable, though. That was their problem. Yeah, but I think I think that that I think that they are loyal. Like, I mean, whoever is in charge, I don't think you can manipulate that. They followed the emperor because he was in charge. That's if a, Luke and Leia is in charge, they're going to follow them no matter what. And that's a good point. I don't think they're using the stormtroopers, though, to be honest. Now in the trailer we heard we heard one voice throughout the whole thing. Who do you think the narrator is? Do you think he's a character? He, he got most ha has to be a character. I have heard it's Andy Circus. I don't know if it is Andy Circus. Um, I think actually he said it was him, but w I don't know if that's true either. But to be honest, in the trailer we saw a lot of people. The voice to me sounded like Benedict Cumberbatch, but who are the other two characters? 
Yeah, they 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 chose to show us two faces. Yeah, and what you know, another thing that threw me off is in all these faces, I expected the whole time that we were going to get a, just one shot of Han, Luke, and Leia just together. Yeah, they're some, they're holding that something. back. I mean, but they can't hold it back too long because you know they have to show them before this movie comes out. Yeah, they 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 actually only showed us one character from the beloved movies, the Falcon. Falcon was all, and hey, and don't think that that wasn't well thought out. Of oh, that's what we're in in this. That's what we're in in this trailer on that Falcon flying around, even engaging in some Tie Fighters, which is cold because you don't even notice that there he's. That the Tie Fighter is there till the end of it. Oh, it's just a brief little. Pew yeah, pew, you're you know? like, okay, the Tie Fighter's there. It could have just been flying around, awesome. Well, Han, we assume it's Han, flying that Falcon around, awesome. Like, oh, be- better than we've ever seen him. Age hasn't slowed yeah, him down no. a bit, except hey. for getting in and out of the Falcon. Yeah, that that that's a troublesome issue. <laughs> Break, broken ankles and everything. So uh, we know anticipation's been high for the movie. What what's your level of? Ready to see it one and more my, year. My, if I'm going one to ten, I was at a ten before the trailer, and really, there was almost nothing they could put up there that would lower it. Didn't change it much. It's right? impossible for me not to be pumped about Star Wars. Still pumped. Love Star yeah. Wars. And I cannot wait until the inevitable second trailer before the Avengers. <laughs> me too, Jam. Well, that's uh, Homer Rex and Jeremy with our our thoughts and our expanded. Whatever's, you know. We're going to go see it. Trust us. Yeah. You should too. You guys take care and like and subscribe. Bye.